All right, guys. So basically, I am making this video here because patch 14.17 preview has got released on Twitter. So I just want to, you know, spread the news a little bit. Maybe you don't know, but NARS runes are getting nerfed for the second time in a row. This is like, I think really, really bad because NARS win rate is like not the best. For example, bro, if we go to u.gg right here, if pulled up fresh, like, I mean, we're sitting at a 49% win rate. Like, it's not like the worst. I mean, I don't know, rank 46 out of 57 top laners, Emerald Plus isn't the best. Like, I don't know, the win rate is like, like, it could be worse. Like, right, it could be worse. But like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, this is not gonna help these nerfs. And I know why Riot is doing it because of ADC meta and NAR is getting picked a ton in pro play right now. And this is kind of like a nerf that we're probably hoping that both make ADCs, not as much as meta in the mid lane. And for, I mean, they probably don't really realize it, but maybe take NAR out just a little bit. I don't know if he'll, he'll still probably get picked. He always gets picked in pro play. But for solo queue wise, I don't think this is good because like, Lane sometimes can be really hard against some of these champions, especially with how low our HP stat is. And then with these nerfs, bro, like every single stat matters in lane. Like even with the uh, previous rune nerfs with fleet and absorb life, doing this for the second time in a row, the D blade nerfs taking away the HP and lifesteal is huge. Like all these things, bro. And then the, the boots thing they did a little bit ago, like that's just annoying as well with the price increase like i don't know but like all these nerfs are really really annoying and they're starting to add up pro play sure he's still probably gonna be good but solo queue bro it's not looking good because like a key thing with nar why nar is good in pro play in my opinion is because of communication like that rage bar it's hard to communicate with your teammates it's hard to control it sometimes for for it to be up when you need it in team fights. So I think that's the one main reason why NAR struggles in solo queue. It's gonna be even more difficult because all these changes and in lane, it start, it's hard to survive. Like the one thing you need to do as NAR is survive. And this is just making it more and more difficult. All these nerfs adding up, adding up. So yeah, let, let's get, read the nerfs here. Um, this is like the patch before Worlds. I don't know what they're doing for Worlds, bro. The Worlds patch is usually dumb and stupid, so we'll see. But right now, Absorb uh, Life, a lot of people are, are going uh, normal Triumph now. Like, I prefer Absorb Life. I don't know if I will next patch, just because, you know, it helps you survive in lane more. This is better for team fights. Triumph, obviously, you might like everyone might have to go back going to that i'll probably test out absorb life but like bro this is gonna be useless level one to five one to two healing like you're not even gonna get like to a hundred value with this if you hit every single cs like it's really really bad you get a like it's gonna be really really bad like yeah it's a useless ruin early like i don't think it'll ever come into play where it'll actually save you at least not like this like the one to five like they even nerfed it before like you're so much higher and then level six to ten six to eleven to three to seven but you have to remember this is for each minion so for each minion that you hit you're getting three to four less hp health each time life steal like it's really really bad and then they're even nerfing it late game or mid game mostly late game i guess really really late game but even like the mid game it's really like not the best but i mean i didn't really take this for mid delay i took this for lane and bro this looks useless it might just be worth to go uh triumph again even though if you want to play for lane like triumph it's probably just better to play for the team fights um cut down like i know some players take cut down i'm just so used to taking uh, last stand that i don't really pay attention but for people that do take cut down that's also gonna be a problem because 10 percent hp is gonna be a problem like all these adc things actually just ruining us for this prestigious rune tree is actually just ruining us and then the big one fleet footwork not only is the healing gonna go down the movement speed is gonna go down now i was this is what i was afraid of i would have been fine if the healing went down a little bit 
because you know we're used to that with fleet footwork all the time getting enough but the movement speed getting enough i think that's really really bad so first the healing i think uh 5 to 125 100 won't really matter too too much like sure it is uh some healing but bro fleet's already horrible early anyways just like absorb life is now so honestly bro will we tell a difference in lane probably not but bro the movement speed i think we're definitely gonna tell a difference it's going down by five percent and we're getting 0.25 less time with it each time we hit a fleet proc i think that's going to be more noticeable than like most people think just because like bro like one thing we rely on is like with that fleet proc is the movement speed to escape from things because like we're sometimes risking our life to hit cs or to poke and with our low hp stat like that's definitely gonna give people or more champions more opportunities to catch up to us and kill us so like that's gonna be annoying 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 and all of this because of an adc meta that became a problem because of all the map changes they basically made and all these like changes they made this season like, like people don't realize it but like the the map changes and the items that they added bro just changed this entire thing like and it's not benefiting nar it's negatively affecting nar like they had the buff nar earlier this season like they buffed mini nar that's how bad nar was getting so they buffed mini nar damage like who would have thought bro they've been buffing mega nar damage the past couple years but they had to buff mini nar just for him to barely have a 49 percent win rate and patch 14.16 so would this go down again and uh 14 point 17 bro like the past couple patches have not been the best like nar has been like covering like i think he was around 50 percent win rate for maybe like a week but then ultimately he went back down to like you know yeah here it was 14.13 but then he it's like slowly going down with these nerves he's going down to a 49 percent win rate so like next patch he might be definitely pretty close to that 49% win rate like D blade like starting item doesn't even have over 50% win rate like it's kind of really bad like all these changes is all together so I don't know does does riot give nar compensation buff probably not because of pro play remember worlds is coming up and they want like flashy good like I I catching champions up in the top lane and nar sadly is not that in pro play so we're probably stuck with this until minimum season 15 i would guess but i don't know guys we'll see we'll see i could be wrong i usually am wrong about a lot of things like this but you know we'll see but yeah uh i'll stop yapping now i just wanted to update you guys on absorb life and fleet footwork nerfs and why i think it's ruining nar and solo queue but ultimately riot is trying to nerf the adc meta and at the same time probably try to get nar out of pro play because people do not like whenever nar is in pro play they do not like watching it they think it is very very boring all right i'll stop yapping guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll be back hopefully with some more gameplay tomorrow and uh yeah i love you guys forever and always Bye bye